Welcoming in week one of the grass court season, the city of Stuttgart. Our location for the Mercedes Cup, staged at a picturesque club steeped in history. Well, it's a beautiful site. Uh, I love this atmosphere of a, a tennis club hosting a, uh, an ATP event like the one here in Stuttgart. I think uh, it's kind of what it's supposed to be. It's how it should be, tennis, you know. You have a club life and then once a year you have this massive tournament where the best players in the world come to. Before play began, Roger Federer and Tommy Haas got away from the courts and into the city. At the top of the new cloud number seven building, the pair took time out to admire the view. It's always very cool. It's always very special. You know, I've had a couple of these activities uh, throughout my career. Um, funny enough, actually with Roger a few times as well, and uh, to be up here with him again is, uh, is a real pleasure. Always fun to do it with uh, such a gentleman, superstar and a friend. And, uh, you know, being up here in this uh, new exciting building in Stuttgart um, with all the activities and things that are going on in this town is great. It's great to see. Um, being up here, you feel a little bit like you're on top of the world, maybe more likely on top of Stuttgart. And, uh, but yeah, really enjoy it and it's fun to hit some balls and uh, enjoy it. Here we are on top of a, a, the, you know, the highest building I think in, in Stuttgart and we're overseeing everything, you know, TV tower and I think the, the tennis club is right over there. So it's nice to be sort of in the, in the city center and doing such an activity and really sort of officially, I guess, launching the tournament as well. Unfortunately for Haas, hitting on top of the tower was as close to action as he'd get in Stuttgart. Still struggling with injury, the German plans a comeback for later in the year. I've had so many injuries, I've been away for so, so long, so many times, so it's, uh, I'm, I'm in a way a little bit used to it. Obviously, you know, once you get out here and you play some, hit some balls and you go out to the facility and you see the nice grass courts, you know, it itches in you and you want to come back and play. But my goal is to come back one more time. Hopefully I can play a few more events and uh, kind of say goodbye to, to my career in my own terms, the way I would like uh, to do it. And that's my goal, but uh, it's still a big question mark. And uh, meanwhile, just got to try everything you can do to, to make that happen and also enjoy life. For Federer, however, Stuttgart did mark his return from injury. After the disappointment of sitting at the French Open, the Swiss hoped for success in Germany. I feel much better again. Um, it's, been, it's been a good last three weeks, no setbacks, my back's good again. I uh, feel much stronger. I was pretty fragile, you know, three weeks ago, and that was the reason why I didn't play uh, in Paris. But I um, got back on my feet quickly, and uh, now, of course, I'm, I'm super excited about playing another tournament. Finally, again, it's been, it's been a tough year, so this is nice to be here. Another player making a recovery from injury is Juan Martín del Potro. With past success on grass strong in the Argentinian's mind, there's no wonder he was excited about returning to form and winning his first round match. Well, it's a big uh, victory for me after three years uh, without playing in, in this surface. I beat one guy who is playing great on grass court and and I didn't expect this kind of level to, to be my first match on, on grass. But I'm looking forward to, to keep going and I'm served well, my forehand is, is working good and the good things, my backhand is, is starting to, to come back on my game and that uh, gives me motivation for, for the future. One man who certainly hit the sweet spot is Austrian Dominic Team. Fresh from a semi-final appearance at the French Open and currently seventh in the Emirates ATP rankings, the 22-year-old was hoping to make a smooth transition from clay to grass. For sure it's a big milestone and a, and a dream for every young player, but yeah, Monday when the, when the new ranking came out it's already the past and now I'm really, really happy to be on the grass and the new goals are already here. I just want to continue this good year, fifth in the race, I try to defend it and uh, probably the, the, the most important goal is for me to keep the top 10 spot and to, to be there as long as possible. An exciting blend of youth and experience would fight it out on the grass at Stuttgart. The winner would have to be at the top of his game in Germany. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we're off to the famous Queen's Club for the Aegon Championships. And we're at the Gary Weber Open in Halle. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, My ATP, powered by Vixlet. And on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week. <laughs>